John Jones by Judy Skatchner Every morning Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds and this did not please his mother at all Get yourself down here right now Mr. Kitten Bridges ordered Mama Junebug Jones No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mrs. Dohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, explained Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head, and my head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a mooey mooey soft voice. My name is Skippy Quito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like a jello. I get the job done. Yes, indeed. Oh. Back in the kitchen, Jujube, Jezebel, and Jillybo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Jujube. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. All. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in Old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Hey, caramba! Who goes there? asked Gibby John Jones. We go by the name of Los. Chimichangos, growled on Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of all the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skepito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pontilito, see, si, I love rice and beans, said Skepito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed. He spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. I am Chu Pichu. Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skepito. 
Then it's true, decreed Don Diego. Yep, yep, yepitito. It's the end of Alfredo Banzito. Skepito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bamblebito. Then all of that, Jimmy Changos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bamblebito for Escapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Basito, whispered the crowd, El Blambito, Blambipito. Bandito. Si, ser poquito tito, the bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, said Skepito. Outrage? Si, poquito continued. Red beans and black beans, Boston baked, blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly too. And now he comes for us, poquito added. Por qué, Skepito? Because we are full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his most somber voice, declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Skepito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Skepito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. But poor Capito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Capito, or it is you, the bandito, will eat, though, they cried. Skepito stood his ground, but his legs shimmered and shook like the jello, and his teeth shattered like the castanets. Then in a muy muy soft voice he said, My name is Capito, Frasquito. I fear not single bandito. But Alfredo Basito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy free holes, cried Scapito as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword. And quicker than one could say, chimichangos, cheese, crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Pazito, the Blambito Bandito. Then all of the donkeys burst into song. Yep, yippee, yepito, our hero is El Escapito, he's the dog of our dreams. Who delivered the beans and now we can make our perritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama and Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Panjito, Crashito, Papito, Scapito. Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag, Doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola muchachitas, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Cocoa Puffs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bound 
bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones.